Sometimes it's not enough to know history. You have to make it too. My lord! Don't you remember? I'm dead. The Shogun has come to us asking for help. I thought I left a will that said we were not to involve ourselves in the matters of others. But my lord, we must not allow Nobunaga to just exile the Shogun. Or is there another problem? Nobunaga moves swiftly. You will soon my know. My lord! See? Nobunaga has dispatched an army led by Hideyoshi to destroy us! What shall we do? It is still too early to decide. I bring news! The Tachibana of Kyushu are moving from the south to attack us! On both sides? What should we do? You know, I really wanted to be a historian. I really think I've done enough for one life. Lord Motonari! The Oda have powerful enemies to the east in the Uesugi and the Saika. They have used the Tachibana because they have not the resources to fight us. Hideyoshi can be considered a decoy. If we rouse our allies to the east, he can be stopped. We must avoid the folly of fighting on two fronts. We will hit the Tachibana with all we have. Yes, yes, yes my, my lord. lord. <sighs> if I cannot have peace and death, then I shall have to resurrect myself. Motunari Mori was known as a man of rare cunning. After bringing his clan to prominence, he faked his own death and disappeared from the public realm. Time passed. And soon Nobunaga Oda, on his path to conquest, invaded the capital city of Kyoto. The ruling shogun fled, relying on the Mori clan to secure his safe passage. Nobunaga immediately dispatched one of his most trusted generals, Hideyoshi Hashiba, to crush the Mori. He further ordered his allies in the Tachibana clan to assist by attacking from the opposite direction. Drawn out of hiding by this crisis, Motonari sprang into action. Sensing that Hideyoshi's advance was merely a distraction, he moved swiftly to attack the Tachibana forces. <sighs> Just when I thought my fighting days were over. Chapter 1, Motonari's Return. Will anyone even care what happens in this battle? What are we to do? 
The enemy's sudden strike has wrested all initiative from us. The enemy's sights are focused firmly on our base here in the northeast. If we divert resources to the south, we should be able to take them from behind. Yes, my lord. Any who impede our progress must be disposed of discreetly. How would you like to do this, quietly? How did the enemy know we were here? You wish for me to be his commander? But my lord, surely that is your role. A dead man cannot be alone. This. How about this? How about this? I hope to be more discreet. At least you the job does. Unless we claim the central garrison, progress will be difficult. Take that down will attract too much attention. If it wasn't for Lord Nobunaga, how would he be here? I am a man of solitude. Why must I be forced to wage war? Without Motonari, the Mori are no match for us. We will simply sweep them aside. Since victory is all but assured, we must aim to keep casualties to a minimum. Huh? Enemy scouts? Hunt them down! Don't let them get away! Forwards! <laughs> Lord Hashiba is also on the move. The Mori cannot afford a protracted battle. We must shore up our defenses and wait for the enemy to crack. So you simply surrounded the enemy. That's not very creative. Do you have an actual plan? Well, this? I have ordered the dispatch of an ambush unit to the forest and... It appears the enemy has beaten you to the punch. <laughs> yes, it seems they have a strategist of their own. This seems far enough. The forces in their main camp shouldn't hear us from here. Before your brilliance, my lord, the enemy are as lambs to the slaughter. They have underestimated us. It makes our job that much easier. Yes, my lord. You could come up with some ideas yourself, you know, rather than agree with everything I said. You... You mean this all was a trick? Indeed. If you had only recognized it sooner, you might have been able to do something about it. Open the gates! Through the woods, but we must not make a single sound. It's my strength. However, our only advantage lies in stealth. We must advance out of the main camp while attracting as little attention as possible. Your return has reinvigorated our men, my lord. That's not very comforting. You mean to say that they were uninspired under Terremoto? Why am I not receiving any reports from my men? Something's wrong. The enemy appears to be moving strangely. The enemy has the momentum! Fall back while returning fire! How about this? Eager fools and wipe them out. There they are. How about this? So 
it was a trap, just as our little foresaw. Let's go. You knew it was a trap? Then why did you fall for it? I burn with a quiet fury. That was impressive. I must hold out a little longer. It is almost as if the enemy knows we are trying to wake them out. This is reminiscent of the tales of Motonari's inspired leadership. But he is dead. How about this? Bet you didn't see that one coming. Conviction and purpose. Just like when most Iron was the helm. Were he their leader now, he would lead a sneak attack through the forest. Better to be safe than sorry. Sweep the woods for signs of enemy activity. Open the gate! I will fight until my bones turn to dust! Let's go. So they were attacking the force. I burn with a We quiet must respond fury. immediately. That is impressive. How very diligent of them to come search the woods. If you're trying to challenge me, you'd better try harder. <laughs> Is it not? I feel how I thought of you saw in you. You clearly are a man of the love to have anticipated my weakness. Molinari, I knew you must be behind this. Someone help me out of this mess! I won't let you get the best of me! This is my strength. How about this? the possibility that I might still be alive. Dosetsu By the gods, I shall triumph here! Get it ready. to finish this off. How about this? You! What are you doing here? Now, men, counterattack! Overrun the enemy and claim their main camp! Open the gate! Forward! I bet you didn't see that one coming. How about this?
I bet you didn't see that one coming. An amazing feat! How about this? Your father's stubbornness kept me from early retirement. And your stubbornness is keeping my retirement premature. So you're going to die. My father's mortal enemy will not claim victory over me! Cut an old man a little slack, will ya? Let's go. It will be a great honor indeed to claim your I burn the quiet fury. That was impressive. Wow. You said about this. You sound like you're fine. This was a battle we could never have won without your wisdom, my lord. Until we are at peace once more, will you stay and keep your clan safe? I suppose I have no choice. My loyalty to my people comes first. I dedicate this victory to the sun shining above, or perhaps the moon. It's verbose, and entirely uninteresting. If I were you, I'd give up on becoming a historian. Uh, I apologize. She has little tact. Potential must not be stifled. It must be nurtured. Now, I have no intention of wiping out the Tachibana. Why not? Because I cannot bear such a burden on my own. Can you break it? And this? I see. A single arrow is easily snapped, but three arrows... Can still be snapped. <laughs> I'm sorry. She enjoys being stubborn, you see. <laughs> so it would seem. But, while three might break, what about ten? A hundred? I don't think even you could break that many. Huh. With one mind, the more arrows you have to support the land, the better. Right? Hmm. I thought of it while reading. One day... We will each have our own vision for how the future should be, and will join together to create peace. I hope that dream can come true. What about Lord Nobunaga? Even by himself, he is strong enough to rule. <sighs> That's true. But for all his greatness, Lord Nobunaga will not live forever. And I think it is fair to say that none of his successors are quite the man he is. Hmm. You could be more succinct. But I understand. The Tachibana Arrow is at your service. <laughs>